Hi everyone, thought I'd start showing you little glimpses of Port Angeles, starting with Edda's Hook. Edda's Hook is a three and a half mile sand spit. Hi, I'm standing on the end of Edda's Hook, which we like to call the spit. <laughs> yep, that's it. Behind me is the Coast Guard Air Station. The Coast Guard, where they promote maritime safety, enforce federal laws, regulations, and treaties, protect the environment, and defend the United States. A big thank you to our Coast Guard men and women. We drove through the old Nippon paper mill, which closed January 2017. It was later purchased in March by McKinley Paper. I'm going to take you to the north side of Edis Hook across these large boulders, and you will notice my mountain goat-like dexterity. behind me are put there to reinforce the sand spit. The water on the north side is the Strait of Juan de Fuca. The land you see across the strait is Canada, Victoria, B.C. to be exact. Whales and seals have also been seen swimming in the waters. On the south side of Edis Hook is Port Angeles Harbor the deepest harbor port in the Northwest. Port Angeles itself is situated on the coast at the base of the Olympic Mountains. Port Angeles, where the mountains greet the sea. This shows the wisdom of God in creation. Genesis 1 9 And God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together in one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. Proverbs 8 29 When he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth.
Want to learn more about day three of creation as written in Genesis? Do cosmic evolutionists really know how Earth got all of its water? What about Earth's tectonic plates? Or is it that the more we learn about science, the more it points to a supernatural creator? Check out my YouTube video below. You might be surprised at what secular scientists really don't know.